Hi, I'm David Gale, and this is Actor Toronto at Home. Naomi Sneakus is an award-winning actor, writer, improviser, producer, director, and for eight seasons, she's played Bobby on CBC's hit comedy, Mr. D. In 2017, Naomi started a podcast called Firecracker Department. Their website says, Firecracker Department started as a podcast to support the voices of women, W-O-M-X-N, in the arts. It has quickly become a community, a, a movement of like-minded women empowering and supporting each other to take creative action by creating platforms for their voices and stories. And new departments are being added all the time. Sounds like good news to me. Let's talk to Naomi at home. We're going to talk about uh, Firecracker Department. Okay. And um, full disclosure, we know each other. <laughs> That's right. Are so, you full disclosure to me? Because I know we. I am. We've known you. each other for uh, 20, 20 years? I think maybe more. Maybe more, buddy. Maybe more. I like that. Yeah, I like I think maybe lot. more. Um, we were very young. We were in elementary school. And yeah, <laughs> children, just children, children doing murder mysteries on uh, Captain uh, John's <laughs> Captain John's children. boat. Captain John's stinky, stinky boat. Oh, so stinky. Yeah, but they've yeah. taken can it away. Can you imagine? Yeah, they, they sunk that ship. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. But can you imagine if like Chef uh, Gordon Ramsay came in <laughs> and saw like he'd be like, what is going on here? This is great, disgusting. What a great idea. And then we improvise with them. Yeah, yeah. Uh, to yeah. a murder mystery. Oh my goodness, you know, the chef is dead. That's right, that's right. The, the food, Bang. The food yep. killed him. <laughs> Uh-oh, end of show. Yeah, yeah, um, So the uh, Firecracker Department started out as a podcast in like 2017. How did it, uh, how did it evolve? What, yeah, yeah. Where, how did it evolve? Well, how, did we, we, how did you go from like podcaster to a uh, goddess of all <laughs> which is my title which mm -hmm. is nobody is, is buying it but i keep encouraging that title mm -hmm. um you know this is the this is the detriment and the joy of being an improviser is you say yes to everything right so you say yes and to everything and then you find yourself super busy with a bunch of things but the good thing is it's it's a fantastic adventure. Mm -hmm. So uh, the podcast is happening. I had a bunch of people reach out and say like, hey, if you ever need help, I love what you're doing. Like Joanne Boland and Anna Gustafson. Um, there are some folks that really stepped up early and said like, if you need help, let us know. So I had this little meet and greet. Second City gave us a space. We did a little meet and greet. I got a box of wine. Yeah. I got some Dixie cups. I got crappy Dixie cups because I refused to get styrofoam and those were the only ones available. So we had these tiny little Dixie cups we were having wine from. And uh, I kind of put on the table, like, what do, you, what do you want this community to be? What do you want Firecracker Department to be? And somebody said, well, I'd like it to have a comedy department. And I was like, great, well, that'll be yours. And somebody else said, I want to have um, an art department and a script reading department and Red Point, which is celebrating aging in our world department. And so all these departments kind of picked up and somebody else said, oh, I can do the newsletter. And somebody said, I'll help with the web design. And suddenly we had a collective of people that all had the same goal in mind, which was to provide platforms for women's voices and stories and encouraging people and supporting each other through positivity and taking action. That was a huge part of that first mm -hmm. meeting about talking about how often we, um, we get inspired to do things. And then the inspiration goes, oh my God, I'm so inspired. <laughs> So we talk a lot about creative action, like what's your first step to creative action so you're actually putting things into place. Mm -hmm. uh, so now we have a chapter in Toronto, we have got a chapter in Tro uh, Los Angeles, we've got one starting in Vancouver, we've got a gal in the UK, and one starting in New York. And it's just like this really beautiful, you know, hum of a community that's supporting each other to create. And by supporting each other, we're supporting ourselves and it's all gonna, what goes around comes around. Did, did, uh, amazing. Did, does each of the locations have each of the departments? Yeah, we're working towards that. Right now, we've got a couple of crossovers. Like we have Anna uh, Gustafson, who does the comedy department in Toronto, and then Monique Madrid, who runs it in Los Angeles. We've got a script department in Los Angeles, Farah Morani, and Sarah Deacons runs the one in Toronto. So as we build these chapters, the ideal is to have a rep in each city. So that, mm -hmm. uh, also, so that you go to like, 
pop into Vancouver and be like, hey, where are my firecrackers at? And you get this team of folks that uh, are your people. And do, you, do the firecrackers all meet up at, at some point? All, uh, like you do massive Zoom cracker heads? Yeah, we do massive Zoom cracker heads. <laughs> we call them brunches. Uh, <laughs> That's we do probably like a better name. <laughs> hey, cracker heads. Um, not awful. Don't hate it. Uh, yeah, we do regular like Zoom meetings, A, for the core, core folks, because it's a big team and we want to make sure that we're solid as we grow and getting to know each other and making sure we're supporting and putting our money where our mouth is really, you know, the proof's in the pudding. If we're not supporting each other from the core, then how can we ask the community to support each other? Right. So we do a, a regular core brunch and then we do a regular um, firecracker community brunch, which is just open to anybody who just wants to be around their people and talk about creative things. And is it possible for you to actually be a part of each of the departments when they're meeting up? Like, are you there for all Me? of them? Yeah. Yeah. I yeah. really am right now. Wow. It's not going to be sustainable, but, but that's just it. Like I can't say, Hey, we, we should start this great idea and then not be there. That's not cool. That's like saying, Hey, I have a, I have a party. And then where's Naomi? She's, she's, she's gone to sleep. That's where she is. So I'm doing that right now. Like we've got a writing department that's starting and it's online right now just to get people writing every week. And then mm -hmm. we're going to bring in workshop people. So I'm there every week for sure. It's way easier on Zoom, of course. If right. it was a good person, I think I'd be real tapped out. But uh, eventually, I'll pass that over to um, Avalyn Gray, who is the head of the writing department. So um, it's not going to be forever. I, I know I've got uh, seeds to sow right now. Have you had, and this is, this is not on my list of questions that I sent you ahead of time. Have, you, ha have you had dudes who've wanted to be a part of this? Dudes. Yeah, there's been a couple of funny things. Like, we have a project. I have a Facebook group, so we just make it a uh, female or female identifying or non-binary centric. And uh, every once in a while, we'll get a guy that like pops in. I'll be like, oh, thank you for your support. Go to the other Facebook group. Um, and then there's been one, one person said, like, I know you probably do the script reading series and you accept scripts from men as well. And I'm like, oh, no, we don't. We actually mm -hmm. don't. That's like, we're super inclusive and we love like allies and support from everybody, of course. But we're really trying to build the world of uh, the female and female identifying and non-binary artists. Which is amazing and commendable and, uh, and good on you for that. That's, that's a phenomenal thing. Um, so we're, ta we're all about good news stories here uh, on ACTRA. Yeah, that's ACTRA. smart. Let me, let me do this. Let me at ACTRA. Yeah, go like at, this. Uh, at, at yeah, ACTRA you got John. it. <laughs> I'm right. You got it. Right. Uh, we're all about good news stories. So are there... Uh, is there a particular good news story that has come through Firecracker Department during this COVID-19 experiment uh, that you can share with us uh, or, or any, any, any creativity that has come through? Um, That's, hard. People... That's hard. I would say hourly we have stuff going on right now because when it hit, like we, we kind of came together and we said, what do we need? And Joe Boland said, why don't we do a brunch? And the brunch kind of sparked, like we have a movie club that meets once a month. And that's really fun. like everything's super, everything's great. Like it really is exciting because the movie club challenges us to think um, and dissect movies in a way that maybe we don't normally do. A lot of people go, I liked or I didn't like that movie, but then you to be t to be thinking creatively about why you didn't like it or why you did like it is a really great platform. Mm -hmm. With a writing group, like we get notes from folks all the time just saying, I just so needed to be with my people. I just mm -hmm. so needed to be uh, challenged to be creative today. So we get. You get success stories a lot from that. Um, I've got, I mean, and then on the other, you know, on the side, I'm also doing the podcast recordings, which for me is so exciting. And there'll be times where I'm like, oh my God, I'm so tapped out. I don't know how I'll find the energy to do this interview. And then something will happen in the interview that'll be like, oh man, I didn't see life like that. Like just having great, I had talked with um, Sydney Poitier the other day. But, we but wait, hold on, back up. You just said right. that you talked to- His daughter, right. his daughter is Sydney Poitier, right? Sydney, Who right. they share the first name, right. just to slow you down. Yeah. But she's just like a wealth of beautiful wisdom. And just having an hour discussion with that woman just uh, elevates me. It's, uh, it's yeah, really I've seen her incredible. before. I've seen her she's before. She's on Carter. Yeah, fantastic, yeah. amazing. Yeah. Um, so do you have um, future department plans? Yeah, we, uh, so our next wave is A, we're going to start making money for each other. 
So that's a huge part of it. That how, how, do, how does one go to, about doing that? Oh my God, it's I think, super easy. David. Okay, good. Yeah, yes. <laughs> I would like to know. I think everyone would like to know. Yeah. Well, we're going to pursue sponsorships and investors. We're going to get into some grants. We're going to, like our, my, this team of firecracker department people, they're not, they're like, go-getters they're like people that approach me going what about this and have you thought about this and you know uh aj edmonds who's part of the content creation uh, department is like you need to incorporate and so we've got like had discussions with derek chua about incorporating like there's uh, people on this team are thinking for me as well because by my little brain it couldn't handle everything so big plans are yeah we're gonna get money going we're gonna create content We've got a couple of series uh, that we are either pitching or we are going to create ourselves and mm -hmm. develop uh, this into a production company eventually. It's phenomenal. And it's not as if you weren't, uh, your production company won't do films that have men in them as well. It's not. Yeah. Yeah. No, they just have to be led by women. We just exactly. want to see what happens if we, we um, support the voices and stories of women for a while. That's fantastic. That is really, yeah. it, it's it super is fun. inspiring. And when do you, I, I know you, you take the weekend off, is that right? I do, I do. I t well, I take the weekend off from Zoom meetings so that I do any Zoom just with family. Cause, and then I do like, I've been making like, doing some art projects that are mm -hmm. off the computer, which I think is really important. But all of this, like everything that we're working on right now does not drain me. Like it feeds mm -hmm. me. It might drain me cause like of the hours committed to it, but it, it feeds me and I just, I just think anything's possible, right? Like I think that at a time when we find there's a lot of paths that have, have come to a dead end because of the world and COVID, there's, there's ways of thinking and pivoting, that word's being used a lot, but pivoting and thinking outside the box so that we can do things. Mm -hmm. So I'm just trying to look at this time as not a time of, of, uh, of ending, but of new beginnings. And I'm surrounded by people in this, this community that are thinking the same way. So I really encourage people out there who are watching this, if you're like feeling stuck to reach out because your people are here and you don't have to do this alone. I couldn't mm -hmm. do firecracker department by myself. Mm -hmm. It would flatten me. But I have a team of folks that work, we all work together and we're making this happen together. So just find your people. So you are the embodiment of yes and. Right. You are oh my living, God, I could do, maybe I'll write a book living, called Sometimes yeah. Say No. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I'm glad you didn't say no to me and say no to Actor Toronto and Never. members. And um, we are inspired by what you do and continue doing what you do. Please. please Back please. at you. Look at Actra. Look at Actra, what you're doing. Like, you know, you're at home somewhere. I don't know how messy your house is back there. You've got a green screen going. I know. This was, this is sort of to try to make it consistent. And it's great. Uh, yeah, I, I actually live in this uh, sort of fuchsia I mean, world. Sure, you do. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> but I just love uh, it. Like, I love seeing what people are doing that is, as I said, like thinking outside the box and not mm -hmm. thinking about what we can't do, but thinking about what we can do. Yeah. And then bringing people together for it too, right? Like, we're not going to survive anything by ourselves. We got to pull mm -hmm. our people together. Mm -hmm. It is, um, it's, it's, we're, we're lucky that we have it, at this time with during this epidemic a way to communicate and a yeah. way to be creative. And, uh, and people are embracing it. And uh, thank you. Thank you so much. Oh my gosh. I love you to bits, David Gale. And you too. If you know of a member who is going out of their way to help out, let us know. We may be able to share their stories right here on Actra Toronto at Home. Stay safe.